Wow. Glad you're all so excited to be here. Welcome to another week of Network Roundtable. Our roundtable has uh, this week become a one-on-one -on -one, um, interview, uh, it looks like, between Gina from the Caribbean and myself. Let's go ahead and do a quick intro again. And uh, Gina, you're on screen. Go ahead and take it away. All right. Hi. I'm Gina. Um, I'm living in the Caribbean. And um, I'm very glad to be participating in this roundtable. Today we have some interesting information. And I think you might find it inspirational as well. So I'm glad you're able to participate. Perfect. Thank you so much, Gina. We, uh, we are looking forward to that. Last week was inspirational. That is a reminder that we have, uh, that it is time for Quote of the Week. And uh, Sherry is supposed to do Quote of the Week, and we can't find her technical difficulties. Um, so we are going to go with a quote that, uh, oh, Sherry's here. Timing Yay! is perfect. Yay. Welcome. Let's, uh, let's applaud that. And Sherry is muted. I'm going to see if I have control to unmute her. Oh, she's muted. Uh, are you, you're muted on your end, Cher. Is that better? There That's you go. Better. All right. Sherry, Welcome. you got here just in time for uh, quote of the week. So we've uh, burned up about a minute of that time, but you've got four minutes. Go ahead and take it away with our uh, inspirational, motivational, thought-provoking, whatever it turns out to be this week, quote of the week. You're up. Thank you. Well, <clears throat> I, I decided this is another one of my sort of uh, life-directing quotes, we'll call it. And, and since it's uh, the U.S. Thanksgiving this week, it fits in perfectly. Not all of you may be from the U.S., but um, this is a quote from Melody Beattie, and it says, Gratitude unlocks the fullness of life. It turns what we have into enough and more. It turns denial into acceptance, chaos to order, confusion to clarity. It can turn a meal into a feast, a house into a home, a stranger into a friend. Gratitude makes sense of our past, brings peace for today, and creates a vision for tomorrow. And, you know, we're talking about success, we're talking about business on this Hangout, but I think it comes down to the basics a lot of times. And when we live with gratitude for what we already have, it opens us up to, to being able to receive more. And uh, I, I think it affects how we interact with people and, and it just affects how we feel about life. And any time that we feel more settled and more peaceful with our life, it has a positive impact on, on every aspect of our life and every interaction we have and everything that we do. So. Fantastic. That is a great quote. Very fitting because it is uh, going to be American Thanksgiving uh, next week. Um, so we'll get that quote up on the notes. I'm also going to put up a post um, that our president here at SEO.com uh, posted. It's a long um, blog post about the power, the scientific power of gratitude. So look for that uh, in the event notes um, as well as I'll put that link on uh, on dennisdeuce.wordpress.com um, because it ties in so perfectly with uh, Mel Melody Beattie's quote that Sherry just shared with us. Um, Fantastic. We uh, are actually running with a bit of extra time, um, which is good uh, because we haven't always run on schedule. And there is our reminder that we've got one minute left. 
That sound yeah. is going to be a reminder each week um, that we have one minute left. What on earth? Why do I keep losing cameras when I'm in the middle of these things? Um, I wonder if Gina has a comment on that quote. Yeah, G, do you have a comment on gratitude? Take that while I, I try and figure out this camera problem. I think that was a wonderful quote, and I truly appreciate it, especially given the season. Although it's not Thanksgiving down here, but I still celebrate it myself. Um, yeah, I think that was a wonderful, inspiring quote, and I truly appreciate that. So thank you. And who was the author? Melody Beattie. All right. I'll have to look her up. Yeah. Anyways, that was... Her name's familiar to me. What has she has she written something famous? I'm just drawing a blank. I honestly don't know what she's written. Uh, the quote was in a book that I love called "The uh, Simple Abundance: A Day Book of Comfort and Joy," where they have um, small readings that you read each day. And that, that's by Sarah Van Brethnock, but I don't know where the original quote from Melody Beattie came from. Okay, perfect. All right, so we're going to go to our section uh, on book, podcast, or um, blog post. Uh, and for this one, um, let's see, I'm going to share up my other computer screen here. Don't even try to ask me how I do this. Yes, I am trying to run three computers at once, um, and one of them is currently rebooting. Um, but here we're looking at uh, my screen, and what I want to um, point out, oh, a couple of weeks ago we had uh, Ross Walker as one of our uh, ten people to follow. Here's uh, Ross doing his favorite thing ever in an auto-awesome photo, eating ice cream. Anyway, um, one of my coworkers this week wrote a really great uh, article. Now, this is um, this Dennis, article. Yes. Sorry to interrupt you, but we still only see that screen very small. We okay, everybody who is watching this, um, besides you guys, is seeing exactly what I've clicked on. I can't control okay. what you guys see. So, if you want to see it, click on the little. Uh, the little teeny screen, and then it'll have a blue border that's called blue boxing, and then you will be seeing that large. But the people who are watching can't control that. Only you guys can. Thank you. Okay. So um, there's a little tip. We, we, we added a tip right into the uh, blog post of the week. So here's this blog post, and I will put links to this um, blog post on uh, uh, in, in the show notes. Um, this is a great blog post that Brian um, goes really, it's a super deep dive into Google Plus and why it's your key to visibility in Google search. Um, so it's a lot of what we've been talking about in the segments leading up to this, but it is really a great, great article. As is typical with Brian Jensen, very intelligent guy, and uh, often his stuff is um, uh, a bit of a deep dive. Uh, so, you know, hold on to your hat. You may have to read this one a couple of times, but um, that is well worth the... Uh, here, let's see here. Link to post... Here's what we're going to do. There we go. Control copy. Done. Now I'm going to go back to this event right now. Um, oh, that's next week's because I'm not signed in. Here, let's go over here. I think I'm signed in as me over here. Okay, uh, let's undo that. Google Plus, here we go. And what is that tiger doing? Holy crap. Um, 
events. Here's my events. There's a reminder. I have one minute left on this segment. And so here's where you're going to find the article from Brian Jensen. There you go. That link will now be in the notes um, for Brian Jensen. You can come here, you can click on that, and it's going to take you right over to the article. So you guys who are watching, uh, the notes are right there in that event. If you're watching this post-production on a YouTube video, I will put this link in the YouTube notes so you'll be able to get to the event and see that there. Um, <clears throat> Thank you. No problem. So that's the blog post, Deep Dive. Highly recommend that you do that. And our time is up for our book of the week. So it is now time for our online marketing tip. And I'm going to cut back to my camera here for just a second. Um, <clears throat> so... Still trying to fix this other camera. Don't you just love how I do like 10 things at once while I'm producing these shows? Um, Multitasking. Let me just point out, uh, while we're on the subject of doing 10 things, I am always happy to help anybody who needs help. Earlier this week, uh, Roxanne Davenport reached... Well, actually, she posted on her post, I follow Roxanne, and she posted, ah, I need help with Hangouts on Air. We got on a Hangout on Air via her phone, because her problem was on her computer, diagnosed what the problem was. Now, it was an IT problem, and I know nothing about fixing computers, so um, we, but I was able to diagnose the problem and get her to where she was able to uh, get that fixed. It was kind of exciting, because she called me back um, from her computer uh, and had it all fixed. Um, so I'm willing to help with anything, free consultation on social media, online marketing. The only caveat is you're going to let me record you so that other people can also get helped um, while I am helping you. All right, we're almost back with this other computer, but... Um, I am going to, at this point, step back over to screen share. So those of you who are helping uh, present, you may want to blue box the screen share. And we're going to go back into um, this presentation. So last week, we talked about five new people to follow and engage with their comments. How did you guys do on following five people? Well, I did well. Um, okay. I've been following um, more than five people and um, have actually had encounters online with some of the people as well. They apparently are um, also interested in what we're doing and so it was very encouraging. People are interested in what we're doing. Um, so I'm glad you experienced that, and I've had those encounters. So one of the reasons that I prefer Google Plus over other social platforms for business is because people are so willing to help. Um, all right, uh, as you can see, doing 10 things at once. Ta-da! I got the other camera back on, so. Yay! Um, anyway, sure, you had a comment, I think, that I interrupted you on the five new people. Yeah, it's not a very good comment because I did not get my homework done this week. <laughs> so my life <laughs> is a little crazy. I have a list of homework that I will catch up on, but at this point I did not get to it. So I'm, I'm excited to, to begin. Good deal. And, you know, it's, it's okay. You know, you don't have to get everything done um, all the time. Believe me, I don't even come close to getting everything done. Yesterday, one of my coworkers, um, a, a, a blogger, who wrote a great blog post on uh, marketing for Black Friday, said to me, uh, Dennis, 
none of your videos have any words. You do realize that Google can't search videos. It can only search words, right? And I'm like, yeah, uh, can't do it all. So, yeah. So, you know, we all do the best that we can with um, what we have available. Uh, <laughs> and that's, that's all right. Do the best that you can. We're going to jump back into the... Uh, 30 minutes a day. So last week we talked about five people. Um, this one we're going to talk about checking your favorite communities and engaging with them. Um, now, a couple of points on communities. Here's where you can go to uh, to check out communities. And let me just copy that into here. There you go. Again, it's right there in the notes from the uh, presentation today. And that'll take you to uh, the communities. First, you're going to see communities you've joined. Um, and then lower down, you're going to see communities that are recommended to you based on other communities you're in. Let's talk a little bit about what makes a good and what makes a not so good community. Um, what makes a good community is really about the way in which these are moderated. So the communities on here are set up by some human individual and that individual manages the posts that are on there. Says this is good content, this is not good content, we should go ahead and continue to you know, uh, allow this, we shouldn't allow it. Um, and, and the truth is that the more moderated a uh, community is to its goals, the more you're going to get out of it as far as benefits. So these communities should be things that you are interested in. Okay? Uh, I love cats, and every Saturday on Google Plus is Catterday. Now, this particular um, community with 13,880 members, though it is really fun, um, it is getting really tiring because the number of posts is ridiculous. Oh my gosh, get a load of this cat. That's got, that's not real. Okay. Um, so, I, I'm i thinking about possibly stepping out of that one. Now, um, flip side, as many of you know, I'm totally into the technology called Auto Awesome. In fact, this is my Auto Awesome photo right here. Um, my son literally was just playing with those cups while we were waiting at Subway for our food, and so uh, without him knowing I was doing it, I shot this Auto Awesome photo. Um, because I just thought it was so funny that he was playing with those cups like that. Um, that's just me. This one is really, really well moderated. Michelin Metals, Inc. This guy does a genius job of monitoring this auto awesome community. Um, all communities, when you go to look at a community, your rules of the community are right here. Read through them. Make certain that you are okay with um, with the rules and then abide by them. So um, I uh, I was asked with one of my posts on this community at one point in time uh, to not um, uh, to to not post posts like that. So the the post I had posted was not truly auto awesome. Uh, Google had not done it. I had created it in another app to make it an animated GIF. Um, I want to point this one out. This is kind of fun. I did this last week. Um, this is the quote from last week from uh, Sherry, and uh, so I created an auto awesome quote. Um, didn't work out like I wanted it to exactly, but uh, had some fun with it. So that's uh, an example of a really good community that's working well. Now what you want to do is not just have fun communities like that that you engage with, 
But as you can see, I've got Utah business community, podcasters, because I'm thinking of turning the, this uh, weekly hangout on air into a podcast. I've got social media professionals. Um, I've got Google Plus etiquette. Fantastic community, really all need to, in fact, this is such a vital community to newbies that I'm actually going to um, add this one also to the show notes right now. So, uh, boom, share, there you go. All right, so uh, join that community for sure. Um, get active in that community. Lots of people answering lots of um, great uh, tips on what is and is not um, good stuff. See, I, I, I intermix my personal interests, I love cars, with, you know, Google authorship, Google rank and Google authorship, so that's like my day job stuff. There's our one minute warning. Um, nonprofit technologies, I do a lot of nonprofit stuff, real estate things, um, semantic search, doTERRA essential oils. Um, so I, I have a lot of various uh, communities that I engage with and you can see the community activity it will pop up again right here under your notifications um, and here is Catterday there's some stuff real estate these are new posts from real estate these are two different real estate communities and and you can get a quick overview and then if you want to see more you'll click to here um, and uh, then where is my down arrow? Oh, okay. And if you wanted to, so these are all of the new posts. Hey, I really like this one. Let's see what that is. That's my time's up. And you click on it and you can go in and you can start to uh, interact. And again, the whole thing here is it's all about the interaction. So there is our segment on our online marketing tip. Was that, uh, you think that one's going to be helpful for you guys? Absolutely, yeah. Very helpful. Thank you for that. No problem. Now, <clears throat> um, I want to start a new segment right here, and we don't have somebody for this, but um, I'm going to share my thoughts and my ideas on what the community, or what this, this one minute, well, two minute section would be about. What I'm wanting to do is, because I think giving back is so vital to uh, success in business, that what I want to do is, and there's my one minute reminder, is to make certain that we bring in other people to a round table who can take two minutes or less to explain something they're doing to give back. And the idea came to me when I was at the bank the other day my daughter had lost her purse. It was returned by a worker at a bank. And when I got in there, um, the bank was kind of slow, and two of the tellers were knitting hats. And, I, uh, and there was a stack of hats back behind the bank. And I asked about it, and they knit hats um, every year. Every branch in this bank has a competition to see who can make the most hats and this particular branch has had the award since 2009. Um, they've been uh, the number one branch. And uh, so there's our time up. So what I just want to throw out there is if you know of somebody who is doing something cool to give back, um, we want to highlight them for two minutes on this episode because I want to remind everybody that your success is going to grow exponentially by uh, giving back. So that's my little idea. Um, throw me some some tips on who could be on it. And we are now going to Gina's TED Talk of the week. And I believe because of technical Caribbean uh, problems, we are going to have the G Talk of the week. Is that correct? That would be correct. I was unable to connect with TED Talk, so we have a G Talk. And I, I have to say that your message that you just presented is 
wonderful, and I fully support it. So, thank you. Great. Thank you. All right. Okay. So, today, we are going to talk about water. And you're thinking, um, has she lost her mind or what? But, um, no, we're really just going to talk about water. So, we all understand the importance of water in our, our lives, and especially in the Caribbean where it's very warm. But that's not what this talk is about. And we know our body is composed mostly of water, but that's not what this talk is about. And there's also an amazing book called The Healing Power of Water, uh, of water by Masuro Emoto. And if you have not checked that out yet, I would highly suggest it. Um, but that's not what this talk is about. It is simply about water. Okay. So, where does water start? Well, it falls from the sky. And, um, all right, it's a raindrop. And then there's several raindrops. And pretty soon the raindrops become a little, I don't know, not even a stream yet. Just a, just a tiny... What? A puddle. Not, no, not even a puddle. It's, it's still moving. So the water is moving. It has a destination. But it's, it's not even a stream. Eventually, it meets a stream. Once it meets the stream, it has obstacles. And so it has a rock in the middle of the way. Well, what does the water do? The water is flexible. And without thinking, it goes around the rock and continues on its path to its destination. Next, it comes across, well, another rock. So it goes the other way around the rock. Next time, it comes to a tree that has fallen, and it goes over the tree and continues on its way. Pretty soon, it's not just one raindrop. It's, well, a collection of raindrops. They're carrying on on their journey to their destination. Um, next, they might meet a river, and they become part of the river. Then, they might intersect with another river, and the two rivers connect. Okay, so what do we have? We have a very strong force. The force is moving towards its destination. Okay? Normally the sea, but sometimes a lake. But anyways, let's concentrate on the ones going to the sea. So, they follow their path and make it. Let's say they make it to the sea. Well, what do they have collectively? They have an amazing source. They have, um, well, as we've all seen in the last couple of weeks, a force to be reckoned with. So, our lives are like the little raindrop, okay? We are the raindrop. We are going to our destination. We have more things to do. But, collectively, we can accomplish this task. I'm not saying we destroy, uh, like, a city. That's not the, the point. The point is that if we can um, inspire our teams to be able to come together so that instead of one little raindrop, we are an entire team, and uh, we can take that power that we have and use it for good. Um, obviously, our purposes are good, so we're not doing any, you know, destruction of cities. But it's um, it, the water is an amazing teacher, and it teaches us that if we can come together, 
group together our teams and work together as a team, we can accomplish amazing things. So, together you are a force to be reckoned with. So, anyways, that's the G, G talk of the day. And, yeah, collectively, all of us in business, and I'm assuming you're watching this because you are in business, inspire your teams, bring them together, and collectively you can accomplish so much more than your one little raindrop. That's excellent. Sherry, go ahead. You you said that's excellent. You got more thoughts on that before I jump in? No, I just I just thought that that was an excellent perspective. I I love the symbolism of the water, and it's just yeah a a, a sound reminder that we can do more when we're working together, and we do have teams, and we do have people around us to help us accomplish our our purposes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Gee, I, I, I got to say, that was, it really was amazing. And um, I know that the, the thoughts were towards, you know, people who are building a small business or a network marketing venture. Um, and definitely the, the, the power of this is there. And yet those teams even if there are a hundred people, if if your company that you've built is has a hundred people, it's still just the pond. That's, that's right. the thing that's so amazing about Google Plus is its power to help you become part of an ocean. Um, I hope you don't mind me, you know, hijacking your analogy, but um, it ties into the underlying reason why we do network roundtable because you can take your small pond and connect it with other small ponds even in your own direct um, market and explode the power of both of your companies in today's day and age if you're using Google Plus properly there are no more competitors we are all working together to build um, our industries um, and so it, it really changes the way in which we need to think about and do uh, business. And that's exactly what I was trying to say so I'm glad you got the point. Good deal. All right, so um, I want to throw out a little idea here. Um, as Sherry already pointed out, next week is uh, Thanksgiving here in the United States. Um, and that means Friday next week is Black Friday. Now, I don't go shopping on Black Friday. Sherry, are you a Black Friday shopper? No, I hate uh, it. Uh, but here's what I think would be funny for next week. If we could do our show as normal, and let's all wear black. I think it would be a really funny tie-in. So um, we will be back with a uh, Black Friday uh, message next week um, because I'm going to guess that most of our viewers, even in the United States, uh, are not massive consumers, but they're the impetus behind building those empires and they don't really want to go get in that messy stream. Um, so most of you would probably rather just sit there and eat uh, leftover turkey and watch our show. So we're going to go ahead and run it as normal and uh, I'm going to wear black. You guys in? I'm in. Yeah, I'm in too. Sherry, do you even have anything black? Yes, I do. <laughs> All right, good deal. Okay, well, thank you so much for um, joining us this week. Hopefully, again, this was helpful. Please tell your friends about uh, this 
show, um, share out the, uh, the invitation that you're going to get to the future episodes. Um, we would love to have you uh, interact with us and join in the conversation um, during the show. Thank you so much for uh, hanging out with us for this half hour. And we hope that this has been helpful in uh, building your business. We will see you all next week. Bye.